What's up, everybody? New Never You here. Today, we got the starter deck, Gallicmon. Got mine a little early. But by the time you see this video, I think they should be. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, I got a special message at the end of this video. So if you want to hear what it is, stay tuned. If you don't, just feel free to leave at the end. So instead of those paper counters that we used to get, we now get... They say metallic, but it's still like it's more plastic than than metallic. Anyway, it's shiny though, so you get a Gilmon and a Gallantmon. It's pretty dope, in my opinion. And you get these. You take them out. They feel incredible. You get one for each color except for white. You got red, blue yellow green black and purple and those little designs you can actually feel it so they all do the same thing except for they do it for each color so i'll read one and then you will know what it does for all the rest of them um reveal during the main phase reveal the top four cards of your deck at one red digimon or blue or green or purple or uh, yellow uh, depending on what color among them to your hand place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order then place this card in your battle area main delay which i'm pretty sure delay means you wait a turn trash this card yeah okay so you play it get a card to your hand um or get a Digimon to your hand, then next turn, trash it, get two memory. So it's basically a equalizer because you get to add a card, so you can just say that's memory, and then next turn you get two memory. So it does it for each color. I got two red decks and two blue decks, so I got a play set of these. So if worse comes to worse, you know, I, I can actually play them. And I always put mine in color by out. Uh, in order by color. So we got yellow, red, purple, green, blue, black. And I got to get to go and do that with my other ones. Now we got the actual deck. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. You got the rules and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's some new stuff considering um. This is the, maybe, I don't know. I'm not gonna read the rules. You can do that online. We got Gigimon or Gigimon is a Digi Egg, Digitama. And his inheritable skill is when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets 2,000 DP for the turn. So basically, if you've never played Digimon before, you got an egg, and right here we got a play set. The eggs go here in the raisin area. And you just digivolve on top of them. And so whatever's in this spot, no matter how many times you digivolve up, the poke, the Digimon that's on top gets all those abilities that's on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. So we got a play set of the Gigimon. Monodramon is a play cost two, level three, or if you digivolve off of the egg, you get to play it for free and you get to draw a card. We got four of those. We got my G Agumon, and his his inheritable skill is when this Digimon attacks a player, it gets 2K uh, DP for a turn. So if it's going for a security check, it'll get 2K. So whatever is digivolved on top of this, it'll get uh, 2k whenever it attacks directly basically um play set of that and then we got our first super rare which you can actually so it's it's actually embedded in the card looks nice doesn't it gilmon oh man this is nice his ability is, if your opponent has a level 6 or higher Digimon in play, this Digimon can evolve into Gallimon in your hand for a memory cost of 4, ignoring its 
the devolution requirements. Hmm. So basically, um, if my opponent has a level six, which is the level's always gonna be right here, you can digivolve this into this for memory cost of four instead of it having to digivolve from a five. So that's kind of a kind of a neat, neat little doohickey that they have going on. The inheritable effect is once per turn when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, it's a raw one card. Hmm. It's nice. I only get two of these. You get Biomon is a blocker. And you can see right there. You can make it block your, your opponent's Digimon attack, and it can't attack directly. So it's really just really good for blocking, good blocker. Right. Play set of those. We got Growlmon is a rare. When your opponent's Digimon is deleted, gain one memory um, once per turn on your turn. How I many of these do we get? We get two of these. It's a rare. We got Geo Greymon. So level four, play cost six, Digivolve cost two from a three. Hmm, security. At the end of the battle, play this card without playing this memory cost. On play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4K DP or less. So the security spot is over here, if you can see it. And that's why if you get attacked directly, and this is the card that gets security checked, after everything's said and done, it'll get played. And then when it's played, you get to pop a uh, Digimon if appl applicable. So yeah, four of those. Dark Tyrannomon is just a level four. A little derpy. Playset. We got Grounds Ramon, level five. Oh, yeah, we got two of these. Rise Greymon. On play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5k DP or less. Playset. We got another rare. War Growlmon. When attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3k DP or less. Uh, so just when it attacks, period. Whether it's attacking another Digimon or attacking the player directly. Inheritable skill. Or I guess inherited skill. Your turn, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. Basically means it can check more than one security. So it would check two since it would give an additional one unless it has another in inherited effect um, off another Digimon that it digivolved off of. So you just got to keep that in mind. Oh, we got a play set of these. And then back to the Gallant Mon with his Shield of Justice. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's actually on fire. That is dope. That is nice, nice. That's really cool. It gets a security check plus one. And then when it attacks, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. If no Digimon is deleted by this effect, this Digimon gains 3K for the turn. So regardless, he's doing something. You can bet and believe it. Naruto, you better believe it. You got another... Didn't we have a Shine Greymon? Nope, we had a Rise Greymon. Shine Greymon has security plus one and piercing. When this Digimon attacks and deletes the opponent's Digimon and survives the battle, it performs a security check uh, that it normally would. So I think how it works, if it pops a Digimon by battle, that security check would go off as well, so it would check two security checks, if I'm not mistaken. That's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of actually pretty solid, if you ask me. Lightning Just, these are options. Um, if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's kind of like a spell card. And if you're familiar with Final Fantasy, it's kind of like a summon. Um, Pokemon, item. Uh, so, yeah. 
you got you got you got your your spells and stuff and Digimon call options. Cost one to play. Main one of your one of your Digimon gets two thousand DP for the turn. Then if the number of cards in your security stack is less than or equal to your opponent, one of your Digimon gains security. <coughs> excuse me, attack plus one. Hmm. So I think if a Digimon has plus one security, it would give it another one. So it would make it plus two, I believe. I could be mistaken. Make sure to double check on that. I'm just now getting into competitive play. I got a tournament this, this weekend for Digimon. Actually got to work on a deck shortly after this video. But I'm pretty sure that's how this works. And then if it gets a security check, it just got, gets added to your hand. We only get two of these. <clears throat> Atomic Blaster costs five. Choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds up to four th or eight thousand, and delete them. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then we got Greymon's alternate art of Gaia Force, and we actually get a playset. What it eat eels? Delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Just flat out. Just, just, just do it. And this one and the last card, if it's security checked, it just gets to activate it without having to pay the memory cost. So that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's pretty cool. All around, it is a pretty, pretty nice deck, I would say. There's some, I don't think, it, to get a play set of everything, you would have to get two decks. So there's that. Um, but all around, if you can find it at a decent price, um, it's supposed to retail for like $12, but um, a lot of shops are selling it for $25, 30 I uh, can't really speak on why why they do that, but um, I didn't pay that much for mine, and I got mine early, so it's just something to keep in mind. Um, but what I want to say is thanks to everybody that's been watching my stuff, my videos, supporting me. Um, I was in a pretty dark place not too long ago, but um, my wife had a conversation with me and basically told me, you're trying to be the person you're trying to be, and you're not trying to um, essentially, you're trying to work towards the person you, you want to be. You're not that person. So, thank you. This is new, never you, and if you did new, now you do.